What's going on, Mongs? It's me, Sammy Mong, and today we're back on Crowfall with just a general gameplay, and I've got a few updates beforehand because I did try and record this yesterday, but unfortunately my mic was off. It was muted the whole time, so yeah, I didn't really want to do a pre-commentary over the footage. It's kind of awkward. I like to do live commentary as I do it. But in yesterday's video, we actually, we've gotten to level 25, which I believe was two videos ago. I've sort of found a sort of like passive alternative route rather than killing mobs to gain xp and that's through sacrificing potions i go through exp rates and sort of what you need to do that in the last video so be sure to subscribe to the channel or check back or, or go watch that video and find out how to level up quickly yourself we've got another 1800 xp to go so that'll probably get us level 27 and then because i've leveled up i've managed to get the talents that i want i've finally got the dirge passive I've then got Explosive Shot and uh, Gut Wound, so I'm actually stunning people twice with my Pepper Box Shot and my Impale. And then I also saved up enough leather to get myself an advanced leather armor set, so we've got advanced weapons at the moment. I've got a couple of sets of advanced weapons up here, only common quality, unfortunately. But then the leather armor set sort of a, sort of messed up, like we've got Critical Hit he uh, Healing Chance Modifier and fire resistance it's kind of the stuff that i i don't really need and then unfortunately the foot pads or the feet actually uh flawed so we couldn't experiment on them so they're kind of lackluster so to say but i've got enough leather to actually recreate another set but i think i've done it again and gone ahead and got the leather that gives me the wrong statistics i'm not quite sure so we're going to craft up another leather armor set see if we can just get something better than what we have and hopefully be able to experiment on the foot pads as well try and get some more armor value there as you can see we've got 142 armor 88 and then the foot pads are only poor quality and 75 armor so we're going to craft up another leather armor set but then that's all that, that that's it like i'm done then all i have to do is try and get some combat minor disciplines and some combat major disciplines and then i'm set to go out and pvp take over forts take over keeps try and get in some sieges and then yeah just kill some other faction members so i've got to the 288 leather that i need to make the leather armor set we're going to go ahead and create that now i've crafted up some more rune tools it is still only spring but then yeah, I've crafted up some more rune tools so I can do some harvesting, gathering when it turns into summer. And then we've got a few hundred iron ore, copper ore. I've got a bit of a, a gold and silver as well. I've been using that for the rune tools and the potions. But we've got some stuff stacked up. You can see I'm getting a good amount of uh, uncommon iron and copper as well. So I can potentially craft myself a uncommon quality pistol and rapier. I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to go ahead, craft up this leather armor set. And then we're actually going to go ahead and take a look at the War Tribes in God's Reach. I did do uh, two of the War Tribes yesterday. One of them is completely different to what I've like been playing or going to since the start, since the War Tribes have been come out. And we actually managed to take out a War Tribe Captain as well. But what I need to do is get this leather armor set on the go. I won't bring you for every crafting bit, I'll just bring you for the final product. But I need to get myself... Ah, uh, oh, I forgot to equip it. See, I think I'm completely using the wrong type of hide here. What's what's retribution? Blech, my English retribution bonus damage. Like, what is that? I have literally no idea. So that's the hide I used to make that level square. Let's try durable hide. See if it gives anything different. Critical hit che healing chance modifier again. What is this? I I'd hardly make leather armor. I'm more of a blacksmith. I make weapons. I know what to do to get critical hit chance, critical hit damage, attack power, and whatnot. But when it comes to leather armor, this is insane. I'm just going to have to make it out of the retribution. And then go out and harvest some more when an actual campaign world comes around. Because it takes 30 leather. I'm just under 30 leather for the rest of them there. So we'll, we'll, craft, we'll craft up this like crap retribution bonus damage leather armor set. Try and get some good experimentations in terms of durability and armor and whatnot. Rather than the retribution damage. And then we'll just have to, I'll have to look at like some form of resource guide or something on what lever actually I need to get say stealth or health regen. Because I have literally no idea what retribution bonus damage is. I assume it's for like the Templar or the Cleric. There we go, at least the foot pads didn't uh, floor. We've got a final damage modifier and then retribution bonus damage, which I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. But let's go for armor. And then all stats. Might as well, since we've got a final damage modifier on there. So yeah, on my gloves beforehand, I had a critical hit healing chance modifier. And that's actually been... We haven't got that this time. We've just got the final damage modifier. 90 on the gloves. Tiny, tiny upgrade. 88 last time. 
And there's the critical hit healing chance modifier. So one of those leather squares I did wrong. It's probably one I made out of a different type of leather. But that's something I've got to look into is finding out what type of leather gives something that I actually need. Because I don't need healing chance modifiers. I haven't even got any healing spells. What's the point? Final damage modifier is pretty good. 145. Once again, there's only an extra free armor. Nothing crazy. And then let's do the chest piece. I need to start working on getting speciality seals as well. Yeah, and that one's got a critical hit he uh, healing chance modifier again. And it's got a little bit of stealth, but only 17. What have we got on there? Oh, we haven't got... We've got retribution bonus damage again for some magical reason. And it's got crap... Oh, no. I haven't experimented yet. There we go. 435. Ah, oh, just below. Don't seem to point, actually, to be honest with you. Probably keep the one I've got on. Alright, at least we've got a spare leather armor set, but that's something I'm going to either do next video or when a campaign world comes back up. Let's actually look at what level I need. But level 26 and four levels off capping. Let's chuck it. I need 939 again. There we go, 27. So we're only three levels off. I've gone into God's Reach. We're on the Formosa adventure like area. We've got war two war tribes here. Oh, we've got three actually. Oh, four. I didn't even clock these two at the top. This one down here is like, I don't know what the race is called, but it's like the Fey race where they've got the wings. And their war tribes actually set out differently than the one up here, which is sort of like the spiky hut one. Once again, I don't know what the race is called. But down here, it's like the, the, the scene from Return of the King. They've got all the tents set out in different rows, but they've only got druids and assassins. And the assassins, like, I'll go in, I'll kill a couple of druids and then go out to heal. But the assassins come in and gank me pretty much every 20 seconds, so I can never reach full health. So we're going to go back down here to the one that's more like rugged it's got like the wooden huts with all like the spikes and stuff and we're gonna just try and take on the templar boss or like the captain guy but since like the combat disciplines have been like released i've not actually seen them drop anything so i don't know if that's because it's like god's reach or whether it's just because it's not an actual campaign but we're gonna go try and get some loot try and get some artifact items as well so we can sacrifice and then yeah i don't know what to do from here i'm sort of like i'm done i'm, I'm reaching max level i've got myself some armor and some weapons I've now just got to get the disciplines and try and take on other players. So I probably won't include all the footage of every single mob I kill. But now that I've leveled up, I'm sort of, my, my gameplay loop has sort of been confirmed in what I need to do. Every day I'm logging in, going out harvesting to try and get resources and I've messed up big time here. Oh please. I've been rooted again. There's still one behind me. Sorry for the sort of like cut off there. Luckily the other ranger hasn't been aggroed. See if we can just take off this one before I end up dying. But yeah, now that I've uh, now that I've sort of leveled up, my gameplay loop has sort of been confirmed. I'm logging in, doing a bit of harvesting and gathering, obviously coming out, using those resources to create more rune tools for my next harvest and gather trip. And then uh, with whatever resources I've got left, I'm just sort of trying to upgrade my leather armor and upgrade my weapons. So it is going to be a case of uh, creating a few common quality sets for the meantime while I actually get some uncommon and rare resources. But then once I'm done harvesting, I'm just coming out and trying to get some combat disciplines because I've got my leather armor set, I've got my arm and um, weapons. So it's literally just a case of gather, try and do a few upgrades here and there. If not, go out, kill some mobs, get some gold and look for those combat disciplines pretty much. But yeah, ever since the combat disciplines have been changed from night mobs and to war tribes, I've not seen any so unless they've like are not available in god's reach or unless they've changed how you get disciplines i'm not quite sure i'll have to have a look back through the patch notes but it is a bit weird that is the final piece of my puzzle i finally got into a good gameplay loop where i'm able to level up via potions pretty easily so if i want to start a new character i know what i have to do and then i'm just going out harvesting gathering trying to get these upgrades and trying to get these disciplines because i can go out and pvp and all of that good stuff try and get some pvp action on the channel in the gear and items that i've got but i really want that agent provocator major discipline because i want the agent provocator and lay low so i can get stealth uh, so i can get pips while i'm in stealth and start the fight at like a five pips so i can just instantly go in stun them and not have to worry about building up my pips but where's this templar boss it's around here somewhere Something else to note as well is the loot tables of the War Tribe members. So when the first came out, I was killing the non-elites. So just like the standard clerics, the rangers. You can see there's an elite there. I was killing the non-elites pretty easily and getting like resource. I was getting. I wasn't just getting gold. I was getting copper ore. I was getting some stone and other things. But now 
I'm not really seeing any of that stuff on the non-elite. So I'm just seeing gold. So I'm going to have to, once again, probably look through the patch notes and see if anything's changed. Because with the elites, I'm seeing some resources and whatnot. But nothing too crazy with the non-elites. So I think they may have changed that up a little bit. Look, let's loot this guy. See, just a little bit of gold. I'll try and get some better examples. But I'm looking for this Templar boss guy. He's around us somewhere. I think it's him there. He's got a ridiculously long nameplate. Yeah, there it is. See? I'm not going to try and take them on. I'm literally at half health. Oh, I've made a mistake here. I think I'm going to try and get to full health and then loop around and just take on the Templar boss. Because he's the one that gave me the most loot yesterday when I was recording and monged it out. Didn't give me any combat disciplines. Gave me a necromancy item and then a sacrifice artifact thing. But getting back to full health is so long. I like how it's continuing, like the bandage animation. A little bit of a bug there. Alright, let's attempt this. Oh, I'm already at five pits. This really helps out. I'm going to wait for one of my dodges to come in. And then instantly impale him. There we go. Now, if I can just keep this impale stun on the lockdown, so it's just constantly stunned and not manages to get any damage off on me, we should be pretty tidy some of the impales seem to miss we did clock this yesterday that sometimes your impale doesn't hit and it won't stun him but you'll keep your pips so i think that's just a combat bug just like that and then and there again the impale's not hitting what is going on i'm already at half health it needs to stun him there we go that's what i was having problems with yesterday we did manage to get him down once we did have a few problems oh there we go he's at half health i'm at half health stun him again we just need to get him in that stun lock so he can't do any damage to us oh there we go he's slowly losing health i'm not getting any pips there that was another problem combat bug i'm not quite sure whether it's one of his abilities i have no idea but he does seem to heal a little bit as well so that's why i've gone for gut wound so i can just constantly impale stun him but it's also my most damaging ability at the same time oh that wasn't oh i thought that wasn't a five pip stun then that got me there we go, and he's almost dead. Fantastic, that was a lot easier than yesterday. And what are we going to get? We're going to get a artifact item. Unfortunately, I've already got 4 out of 10. We've got the scout's eye this time. I believe it was a different type of eye yesterday. Uh, yesterday. And then we got just a bit of blended cloth and copper ore. But that's what I was on about with the loot tables. You'd usually get like one copper ore or one blended cloth off the standard mobs, the mobs that weren't elites. And then on the elites, you got a little bit more. But now I'm just seeing gold on the elites. Uh, on the standard mobs and nothing really else from any of the others see i've already got artifact item number four i don't think you can reuse them i think you need a set of one to ten but guys i'm gonna cut that video short here and just leave that at that i'm gonna do a little bit more mob grinding try and get some artifacts and try and get some disciplines which i haven't seen but if you know any information on disciplines let me know in the comment section down below but i've got really like i've just got a good feeling that's because it's god's reach and not an actual campaign so they don't want you coming into God's Reach, being able to take out what is relatively easy mobs and then get some disciplines from them to take them into campaign worlds. But yeah, if you do know anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out the description for links to my game on Amazon and Redbubble store. Game of gifts for all ages and all types. And thank you for all of the support and I shall see you in the next video.